Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a topo surface um, in Revit, so a topo surface here, uh, by using um, SketchUp Pro, and um, rather than having to trace all the contours to get a 3D topo surface, we can actually use SketchUp Pro and the data that we can export out of that from Google Earth, so from its uh, the, the satellite terrain pictures. So. If you just bear with me, um, I don't use SketchUp much, so we're going to go to add a location here and that should bring up this box. Now, uh, I'm just going to search my uh, university. Oops. Uh, campus, because I know what it looks like. Okay, so you need to be connected to the internet to do this, and you also need a. Um, uh, SketchUp Pro, um, not just the free version. Okay, so I'm going to grab a bit of this terrain here, uh, a bit where the bank goes down into the river so we can see uh, the difference there. So let me just go to Select Region. Now to bring up this sort of crop box. So you can just select the region that you want to bring in. I might bring in both sides of the bank so we can see that dip. And I'm just going to grab that now that drops it into um, SketchUp for me. Okay, so um, now if you click on the toggle terrain here, you can see that the terrain actually changes shape when you click that and unclick it. So it's changing from um, the Google Earth image to the actual Google Earth terrain data that the satellites have downloaded. Now, I'm just going to do a quick measure of that so that I can scale it in um, Revit. So that's um, okay, so about 700 meters that is. Okay, now let me just go file, export, 3D model, and just place that in a folder on your desktop. And I'm going to call it um, SketchUp Contours. So I'll just export that and it'll come up with this um, dialog box that says export OK. Now I'm going to go to Revit. I've just started a new project here. Now usually if you're going to create a topo surface you go to site and you import the DWG from the survey or surveyor or you would import uh, you know a PDF or a J sorry not a J PDF a JPEG with um, contours on it that you would trace but what we're going to do is actually go in import the CAD file, which is okay because we're actually going to delete it. Um, and then I'm just going to find this folder on my desktop. Okay, and I'm going to import this. doesn't really matter about the colors or anything. And it's a bit of trial and error with the, a um, bit of trial and error with the scale because um, I'm not sure what I set it up to in SketchUp. I might have set it up to millimeters. So manual, center, place at ground floor, orient to view. Okay, so I'm just going to bring import this in. You can see on the status bar there that it's importing. Now I placed that and then I did ZX to zoom to see everything that I placed. Now, if I just go to my 3D view, you can see this is the tile that you end up getting. So, it's got it's got two two layers to it. It's got that that one single plane, which is the JPEG image, but it doesn't actually bring in the image, and it's also got the height data there. So, what I can do is go to Topo Surface here, and rather than placing points and sketching, I'll go Create from Import select import instance and it allows me to click on this sketch up terrain so I'm going to click on that and then this dialog box will come up and say um, which layer do I want to use so uncheck everything except Google Earth terrain and I'll select OK and then what you can see is once I finish that surface I've got a topo surface there with the SketchUp model. Now I'm going to delete that SketchUp surface. And what we actually have is a replica 
of the SketchUp topography in Revit. Now if I go to site, I'm just going to double check the scale of that. I should have done this when I imported it, not now. But yep, that's perfect scale, perfect size. So I can just pin that now, uh, sorry, pin that down and it will behave exactly as any other Revit topo surface does because that's exactly what it is. And that's probably one of the best time saving tricks I've ever seen. I spent a lot of time tracing contours at university but this way um, you have access to all the information that's on Google Earth with SketchUp Pro as long as you've got the Pro version and you could just import it into Revit like that and use um, the pick from pick from DWG to draw your top of surface.